Luca from Stamperia and uh, I'm here today with you to show you a new technique with color rings, uh, my, one of my favorite products. Uh, let's uh, use it uh, on a plate to obtain this nice result. You can see on a plate like this the same technique with other colors for example with gray and black you can also obtain something like this still on a plate or also on a vase look how nice this vase is with flowers the surface is uh, metallic as uh, we will use some pastes but let's go step by step with this plate we'll start we'll start with a plate you have to clean it first so clean a plate with uh, alcohol or just wash it and then we'll spread this country crackly Crackly Country is one, is one of Samperia's easiest crocklies as it's only one step and normally we use it with acrylic colors but not this time, this time we will use this crockley with paste. Just spread it on the wolf surface. Like this with a flat brush, it's not important the direction don't worry about the direction of the plate of the croquet and then let it dry till you can touch it but in this case I will speed up with a hair dryer that you can do also at your home but here it is another plate already dried so we can continue with the following step be careful when you dry with hair dryer not to be too close now let's spread this paste. It is pastel gel lucida. It gets completely transparent when it dries. Now it's uh, now it's white, but you will see when it's dry, it's transparent. Let's spread it with a spatula, like this, on the surface, like this leaving some structure don't make it too much flat you can notice uh, immediately some crackles appear but of course you need some time in order to make it dry completely as it is thick okay can you see the crackles coming out already? But of course, uh, this crackle is not ready yet. Once it is uh, completely dry, you will see it appears like more or less this one I have already prepared for you. You can see the transparency. Let's now proceed with the, with the color rings. The color rings are alcohol based colors and we'll use here only a couple of colors. Some sangria color and some black color. They are alcohol based so we treat them with a special diluent. Alcohol based diluent. I'll take in this red sangria and I put into the plate like this mixed with some diluent. The colors are shiny and transparent, that's why they are suitable on gloss. Some black here in my plate and some diluent as well. Let's now go on with the sponge. We can sponge all the plate like this. And 
here is some black just to shadow the two colors okay they are very fast to dry due to the echo inside notice better on a white surface can you see the transparency let's now use some Colla per doratura. It's gilding glue. We put into the plate like this, and we will sponge it behind our plate. I just dry it a, a while. This glue is special for golden leaf, for glitters. It's a special glue that you have to let it dry before applying the golden leaf. You don't need as a big quantity, a thin layer like this and then let it dry. Normally it takes uh, half an hour, it depends on temperature, but we speed up with the hair dry. We can spread them better with a brush. You see how the glitters stick on the same glue for the golden leaf. Look. You can see behind the, this aspect, the shiny aspect. Now, let's put some other glue for golden leaf. And this time we will put some real golden leaf in silver color. But you can use all the colors you like. Also in gold, in copper. Let, let it dry again. proceed with the golden leaf. I appreciate a lot this one in flakes. You can put all over the surface and then with a flat brush, a little bit hard, we can spread it on the wood surface, which will be completely covered by the golden leaf. Okay, here we are. Now we follow another step on the other side. I've rather used in this case, some vivace color. Let's go over here to tie it a little bit up. And this is vivace color in a new tonality, which I like a lot, 
which is called white gold. We paint the surface, making the flower or a drawing, an abstract uh, drawing as you like. For example, here I used some uh, some uh, lilies like this, water lilies. So you make the flower very simply. Okay, and we start to dry again. color has dried, we can again color the surface with a flat brush. And the colorings. So again, into the colorings we can put some diluent and we can make some shadow on our flower to cover completely what we have already mm, colored with vivace but in some parts in order to make some shadows remember to clean your brush with some diluent and then that's important otherwise it will get hard and then in water now last step with some contour color taking the white per the white one which I like a lot and I make some traces around the petals like this I make the dots in the middle here again not some something like this around it must be your really your imagination to get this follow your imagination okay and this is our plate so I hope uh, you like this technique it's not uh, difficult at all just remember to put some pasta gel with crackly country and colorings together. <laughs> That's the result. So, uh, I'll see you next time with uh, many other ideas. <laughs> Goodbye!